nowadays, everyone is on reboot. So that's where I am right now. I would like to do a more story based playthrough of this because I know there is a story that we will follow as the game progresses and we level up. This is my first time playing, besides playing a little bit of Angel Buster, Angelic Buster. Should we get started? Let's jump right in. All pepper... Uh, all preparations complete. The only thing left is to carry out your plan. I bid you good luck, master. All preparations complete. The Lumiere is anchored directly above the nice chamber, and it does not appear that we have been spotted from below. Are we on a... spaceship? Airship? You will need to remain wary. The security in Eriv is currently on high alert. I suppose having this many of Maple World's leaders in one place warrants the rather excessive defense strategy they've adopted. Still, they are only guards. It should not prove too difficult for a seasoned thief like yourself to slip past them unnoticed. Keep a close watch on their eye lines and you will be fine. The Lumiere will remain here until you return. Do not concern yourself with the pursuit. We'll keep the engine running. It is time for you to make your decision. Are you ready to infil infiltrate a reef? Infiltrate, infiltrate a reef? Mm, are we ready? Are we ready? Yes! I wish you luck. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Oh, we jumped too far. Do, 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 do. Boing, boing. Oh no. <laughs> you put these portals in such difficult places, Gaston. Wow, look at this airship. It's beautiful. Wow. Look at that moon behind us. This portal leads straight into a reeve. The place is going to be positively crawling with knights. Sounds like just my kind of place. A tiny slip is all it will take you to get kicked out. Go down without being spotted. I see. Stealth. Okay, got it. Get out the area before they find you. Okay. If the guards see you prowling around, they won't stop coming after you. Get yourself safely on the double. Press the delete key to use ghost walk. Delete key. Use it to escape detection by the guard or hide when they become suspicious. Ooh, if you touch a guard in this state, they'll get you. Press the end key to use chump change. <laughs> you whack change at them. <laughs> Guard salaries are very low right now, so they're easily distracted by piles of money. Be wary. Guards that have already seen you will not... <laughs> Guards who have already seen you will not fall for chump change. Mm -hmm. Got it. Ghost. Okay. Now, we'll just walk right Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Huh? How do we do chump change? 
Oh no. <laughs> we failed. <sighs> so it doesn't last that long. Ghost does not last very long. What? Oh, he touched us? Seriously? Oh, they're just like, forget it. <laughs> forget it. This will be a cakewalk, I hope. Oh. Uh... Who are you? You knew? Kaiden, old pal. You really don't remember me? We say hello all the time. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's okay, old chum. I know you're seeing countless people coming through. It can't be easy to remember all of them, but I was hoping you'd at least remember me. Hey, I said I was sorry. This place is like a madhouse right now. You can't blame a guy for missing a few faces. It's really that bad? Of course. We've got some new royal lady claiming that Empress Cygnus may be fake. How could anyone feel at ease? That's a good point. That's why I'm here. This Hilla woman insists that she was a descendant to the last empress. That would explain the foul mood. Indeed. If Shinsu were here, she could clear this up. Unfortunately, she is not. Why did that woman insist on holding the conference today of all days? It seems awfully convenient, doesn't it? I hope this works out. What are we going to do if Cygnus isn't the real empress? I have devoted myself to her. And we can't split in two. It would be chaos. Don't worry too much, Kaiden. I have a feeling these things will all work out. I wish I had your optimism. At any rate, this Hilla character must be quite confident to call all these people here. Confidence is required of both truthsayers and liars. You never know. Maybe someone incredible will come swooping in to clear this up. Um, no, let's not skip them. Looks like I'm not too late. Everyone's here, but nothing has started yet. I'll just grab one of these empty seats. Cygnus and her knights look very serious. Can't say that I blame them. The senators don't seem so thrilled either. I wonder what they're thinking. Maybe I can get closer. Could it be true? Could Cygnus have been fake this whole time? Are you listening to yourself? How could that even be possible? Cygnus is the empress now. And she'll be the Empress tomorrow! I'm not arguing she's a total imposter, but if there really is someone with the treasure of a reeve, Arya was supposed to have valued that gem above all other things. She was going to pass it on to the rightful heir. If that treasure proves she is the real Empress, I mean... If someone other than Cygnus even belongs to Arya's bloodline, everything we worked for could be in jeopardy. I won't betray Cygnus. After all, she's done for a reeve. But I can't ignore the legitimacy of this woman's claims either. The Maple World Alliance was just a about to form a unified front. The only reason most of these people are here is because they trusted Cygnus. An alliance may feel may fall to pieces if someone else steps in. We 
can't stand here and speculate all day. I think it is time we let this accuser speak for herself. Shh, she's here. The director of this convoluted play finally arrives. Wow. Thank you all for coming. I am Hila, and I am here to tell you that I am the true heir to the Empress's throne. Hmm. We're here to prove that you're lying. So, you would like to think, but I'd like to talk about an old tale that the people of Ereve seem to have conveniently forgotten. A tale of Arya. The Empress during the time of the Black Mage's reign. Arya. As you all must know, there was no historical record left over after the Black Mage rose to power. But there was a persistent story of a gem that Arya clung to. The treasure called Skaia. Skaia. Arya's lost treasure. It is said to have been passed down from empress to empress to protect them. It holds many wondrous powers. The stories of Arya's possession of Skyia are not in question, but there are no records of what powers the jewel actually possessed. I stand before you with proof of my lineage, and you argue semantics? I have the jewel, not Cygnus. When the Black Mage's army decimated Areve, the Skyia was thought lost. I'm sure that's the old story you've all heard. But do you all really think such an important treasure would be written off as a loss? Do you think? Our forefathers would have let it linger in some tomb? That is lunacy. The Skyia was protected from the Black Mage, quietly passed down for hundreds of years until I could reveal my birthright. So, that's your argument. That is the truth. How, how can you prove that the sky uh, you have is real? It could be fake. A valid question, but ultimately foolish. The name sky is well known, but very few have actually seen it. In fact, the only people in Maple World that would have even seen it, seen its picture are here today. That means that all of you are the proof that my sky is real. Do you not recognize the sky in my hand? Is it not the jewel you have all seen before? Listen to what you are saying. Jewels can be forged and reproduced. There is no way we can be certain that the one you have is the real thing. I'm sorry, Sir Hawkeye, but you alive hundreds of years ago now. Your opinion on the validity of this gem is of no importance. Besides, we have not yet gotten to the real argument. I ask of you, why is the Lady Sinus so frail? If she is indeed the true heir, she would not be overpowered by Shinsu's strength, Lady Sadness. You yourself must know that you were not meant to wield the power you've stolen. Such insolence! Oh, was I being insolent? Is speaking the truth now a sign of betrayal? Think of my words and decide for yourselves. Is that your role, Cygnus, to act on what's best for the people? She is right. I am no one special, and I am unable to fully 
absorb Shinsu's power. I don't know why, but I was born like this. If this woman questions my validity as your empress, we must allow her to discuss it, or we will be no better than the black mage. Lady Cygnus, I have to do what is right. I've asked the world to fight for me while I sit here under protection of more people I've asked to fight for me. If I've done that without any real authority or qualification, then I'm no better than a tyrant. Her voice is shaking like a leaf, but her eyes are firm. She really is Arya's niece, and she seems to be quite popular. I believe we've dragged this on long enough. Let's see who truly carries the bloodline of the Empress. It is said that Skya will shine in the hands of an Empress. Do you care to test your metal, little Cygnus? It shines in my hands. Will it shine in yours? Don't do it, Cygnus, don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. Ah. Not even a flicker. What more do you need? Tell the lines that they will follow me now. Of course, I'm not the one without sympathy to your situation. I'll give you some time to take all of this in. Do whatever you need to do to, to reconcile yourself with the truth. When you are finished, you will find that the true Empress of Maple World is not Cygnus, but Hilla. Gaston should be ready about now. Time to take the plunge. Everyone! Will we let this frail child play at being our empress? You are nothing but a pretender to Arya's throne, and I have proof. This is Skaya, oh, the last jewel of Empress Arya. Do you all see? I am the true heir to Arev. Delightful story, but I believe you forgot some things. <laughs> oh my gosh, his voice First, is so fancy. there's the bloodline. Empress Arya had no children, and only a niece. Handsome. You, on the other hand, are trying to pass yourself off as something you're not. <laughs> Who dares question me? Second, you use the Empress's weakness to question her right to rule. Her frailty is proof she's absorbing Shinsu's power. And finally, you claim to hold the treasure of Arev, the legendary gem Skaya. A true empress would know that the Skaya you hold is a ruse, a bauble dressed up to lure the great thief Phantom out of hiding. What proof do you have of these lies? How can we believe... <laughs> Here I come. Set aside your parlor tricks. The real Skaya is safe. Gaston. In Gaston. the hands of Phantom. Oh, but that's not me. Are we going to keep playing this game, Hella? Show the good people your true colors. Misses, you think your flashy little show scares me? <laughs> Fine. I'll let you keep your child empress for a while longer. But don't think you've won. 
Maple World is already in his hands. For a woman with a smile on her face. I suppose they'll all be expecting a hero now. I better give them what they want. The phantom in that cutscene was a dude. Do I have to pretend I'm a dude now? Hi. Hi. I prefer a smile on your face, princess. Yeah, I, I understand why. Perhaps that was Gaston? Was that Gaston? I have no idea. But they could not afford to animate two cutscenes. I feel this itch. Like there's something calling me. Something I've got to do. It's a good thing it was only Hilla. If any of the real commanders had been there, I would have been in some serious trouble. The Black Mage's curse has some nasty effects on my strength. I can't take all the credit for that performance. I should go say thanks to Gaston for putting together that little light show with the skill effects. Let's go say hi. Where are we? Um, where are we? Oh, I see. Okay. Gaston, go to Lumiere to meet Gaston. Get there. Excuse me? Does anyone know where Lumiere is? Excuse me? Anyone? Excuse me? Taken a wrong turn somewhere. Let's go back to Lumiere. <laughs> Please take me out of here. Gaston must be inside. Hi. Hi there. Oh, sorry, Gaston. I forgot. You're Gaston. I forgot. I, did, I didn't remember your name. I'm so sorry. A true butler knows his master's needs before he does. 
Congratulations on a successful mission, mas Master. Hela would not be so fast to concoct another scheme when she realizes she was fooled by a level 10 thief. <laughs> level 10. What goes around comes around, my good man. Tricks are a legitimate strategy in any battle. Perhaps next time, you will think to be a little less flippant with your life. Provoking a commander of the Black Mage at this time could easily turn into a one-way return ticket to the grave. I had to look good. It was my big de debut. I needed some cool, flashy effects and a tough spiel. Your love of flashy things is quite obvious looking at the Lumiere. But take care not to risk your life so frivious, frivious, frivolously in the future, will you? My position here relies on that. Thanks anyway, Gaston. A true butler knows his master's needs before he does. Shaking Hilla was a good step. But the Cygnus Knights must continue to believe that you are as powerful as you once were. At your level, you could barely handle a mushroom. That hurts, Gaston. You know, I used to be very high level. It's not my fault that the Black Mage cursed me. It actually was your fault, Master. Regardless, the important thing now is to reach your level before anyone notices what a hopeless weakling you've become. In the training center, you will find the utterly terrifying orange mushroom. It may not appear to be much, but do not overestimate its stout frame. <laughs> Let us go to the training hall. Ooh, looks like I'm a rich thief. Not just... I'm quite a rich thief to have a training hall. Let's head back. I don't want to see any of you mushrooms again. Get out of my training hall. Get your ugly faces out of my training hall. Ugh, you. Bastion. I've completed my quest. What's next for me? We don't got all day. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Your name is Gaston, not Bastin. A true butler knows his master's needs before he does. Yes, you told me that already, every single time. Leveling yourself will be no easy task, but I su suspect you hold a weapon in your arsenal more powerful than most. Weapon? I'm speaking of money. It's true, this little bastard is rich. Were you not able to afford the Lumiere? Do you not have a host of servants under your employ? But... Asos don't make you level up. Ah, uh, my dear master, you are living in the past. Please drink this. Uh... Mm, drink? What? What do you want me to drink, Gaston? This potion was created for a special event some time ago, but I purchased it from a local ruffian. It will come with the accumulated power of that amazing traveler, 
will now give a cheers to victory. Drink. What do you want me to drink? Gaston? What do you want me to drink? Just drink the whole thing, you big baby. Open the inventory and double click on the bottle. Uh, <laughs> Gaston, you must drink the entire bottle before you go anywhere else. Okay, I'll, I'll listen to you. <laughs> what did you do to me, Gaston? Oh, wait, I have to drink more? Gaston. Oh, that tasted nasty. Wait, there's more? Gaston, why is there so much? You're just giving me levels here, Gaston. Mm -hmm. Okay, I drink the whole thing, like you told me to. Okay, how is it, Master? Can you feel the level increase? It did go up, but it's only level 18. I need to raise 257 more if I'm to reach where I once was. And if I'm going to stand in front of those Cygnus Knights, I need 52 more. I'm afraid even the master of all thieves cannot steal 275 levels. Oh, oh, oh. I wish you weren't so jovial when you make fun of me. Is that why you keep paying me? Now, put aside this nonsense and take some pride in your new abilities. What's the pride in being level 18? Oh. I'm sure you'll find it. I've refitted the training center with a new monster for you to practice on. Don't forget to assign skill points and ability points accordingly before you go. Uh, again, Gaston? I'm tired of that training place. Skills? Skills? Gaston? Okay. We don't got no skills, Gaston. Now. Wow, so many. What do they want us to assign it to, I wonder? Look, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Time for more training. Hey, look. We can become Ip Man. Let's do an instantaneous um, transport. Awesome. That is so cool. I love that. I love that. Heard you're not an endangered species. In fact, you're an invasive species. Die, die. It's my duty to kill you. It appears that the potion did not have any of those rather unfortunate side effects I've heard about. Thank goodness. I would hate to see you suffer from a bug. <laughs> Kasten. Taking a training break already, are we? Well, the lovely Christine did mention that she wanted to see you about an assignment you'd given her. Christine, I believe I asked her to get some more information on the black wings for me. I'll swing on by. If you think that's the best, but I still believe you should be training. Perhaps if information is not of great urgency. The value of information is not based on quantity, but on timing, my dear Gaston. I didn't hire Christine just for her looks, you know? Forgiving old man, his questions, master. I'm sure your decisions 
are in the right. It's a good thing you still got your wealth. A great thief hides his stash well. A master thief doesn't need to hide it at all. That almost made sense, master. Tell me, why didn't you go to the Cygnus Knights immediately when you awoke? Wouldn't this be easier with strong allies? A weakling claiming to be a hero is of no use in a battle with ultimate evil. This way I can help them when they need it and empower myself at the same time. You are quite a character, master. Scoundrel and hero wrapped into one never-ending bag of witless one-liners. Arya would have liked you quite a bit, Gaston. I'm glad I have you at my side to take down the Black Mage. I'm sure you will be. Now then, I believe you had business at the intelligence desk. Now I see how much you value information. Okay, time to talk to... Christine. Christine? Ah! Hi, Christine. You seem very busy. Information must be catalogued, analyzed, and processed before it becomes useful. Long time no see, boss. That info you asked on the Black Wings? I got it. Well done, Christine. If you think it's important enough to pull me away from my training, I'm willing to listen. Sure, boss. I know how much you love your training. Look, I found a new way for us to keep track of the Black Wings. Hmm. Wow, that information gave me a level boost. I know I've told you this before, boss, but I know there are a lot of folks who look like the Black Wings. They're not even a very big organization. All right, I've seen a lot of those hats around town. I wonder if they're just using innocent people to make their numbers look bigger. Or maybe someone in their organization is making a little money on the side. I did some looking, and I found a place where you could actually buy Black Wings hats. They're using fashion trends for evil? Those scum. Totally agree, boss. My source here tells me there's a Black Wing member in the Edelstein doing the selling. Maybe they really aren't paying their people enough. Either that, or they're just desperate for money. I think it's closer to the former. The heads of the Black Wings don't seem to know about this little hat scheme. Well, at least we know it's an authentic hat. And that means that we can make a perfect disguise. Ding ding! You put on one of their hats. We get all the intel we want. I expected nothing less from you, Christine. I'm serious about that. If you do any less, I will cut your pay in half. You're all talk, boss. Put this thing on your noggin and get ready to start acting like a heel. Are you ready to go right away? Mm-hmm. Wait, maybe we should try- Now we're going. <laughs> ready for action. Here's your hat. We didn't put any super special spy stuff in there. It's just a hat. There's only so much information you can buy off people. You want more? You do your own dirty work. I'm... Hey, Gaston, where's Renault? Here? Oh, here. Thanks, Gaston. Renault. Oh, you're the captain. How did I forget? You wish to chart a new course. Just point toward the horizon. As always, Lumiere is at your command. If you're ready to take her out for a ride across the wind, come talk to me. I'm sure you notice, but the Lumiere follows above you wherever you go. If you ever want to reboard the ship, you can return to Lumiere with a scale of yours. The wind is still. Welcome aboard. 
Oh, Edelstein. Please take me there. Yes. Look at that, I look so good. Look at me, I look so good. <laughs> this place is all right, clean, well maintained, a little too nice. There are three watchmen in total, Leonor, Wani, and Bavin. Bavin is in charge and Leonor is the lowest on the totem pole. It would be easier to start with the lowest ranking watchman first. Time to put on my infiltrating hat. I did it already. I was before you. Leonor first. She looked like a real pushover. I believe I saw her by the lower western side of the town. Lower western. Go, go, go. Absolutely stunning today. I didn't just call you a pushover. What are you looking at? You got a problem. Did they finally hire another watchman? Thank heavens. We've been understaffed for months. I could barely get my quest done. Let me see if I can find you some work. Oh, I got it. I lost my ring and I want it back. Don't talk to me about your problems. Just go get it. I told you to go get it. I lost it when I was checking at Patrol Robot Data Log a couple days ago. Just go out to the field and start knocking those machines around you until you find it. Gosh, she is a pushover. <laughs> What's a patrol robot? Oh, it must be there. I don't know why the, the arrows sometimes point the wrong direction. You lost it all the way up there. took forever. Not bad. Not bad. I was sure you're just some joker pretending to be a black wing when you came up here earlier. What kind of idiot would do that? Am I right? I'm glad to have this thing back. You caused me a lot of grief. Had to join the black wings just to get away from the people who loaned me the money to buy it. I don't even know what we do here. I just know those lone sharks never bother me a bit. It's easy work. Takes him out 30 seconds to look over a patrol robot and file the report before I get back to my shopping. In fact, the only person I've ever met is the one who gives my paycheck. Let her. I bet you've met her. Then Leonor seems to be a dead end. Time to head over to the next watchman. Oh, Leonor. Where 
is you Wani Wani where is you Hello Wani Not Vaughn Wani Ah we found him Hey Wani May we talk to you? Don't do anything suspicious for your own good. Never seen you around before. Guess the Black Wings are putting in recruits by the dozens. If you're gonna be one of us, you should get to work. Go tell Officer Bell to take care of those signs. They're acting weird. It doesn't take much of a job, but it needs to be done, according to the officials upstairs at least. Yes, whatever you say, Wani. Just go save Belle. I don't want to talk about the Black Wings right now. Okay. We'll go see Belle. Whatever you want, Wani. To you. Do you need anything from the police? The police station isn't running at the moment but I will personally do my best to assist you. Hello there, citizen. I'm not on duty at the moment. You have instructions from Moni? So you're one of the Black Wings. I remember when this used to be our city. Moni's part of the police. Hey, I mean, Belle's part of the police. But, hey Belle, actually, I'm on your side. Belle. I'm on your side. I just can't tell you that. Look, I'm sorry to ask, but I really don't like those signs. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Please, as long as someone takes care of it, Ani won't say anything. Pal, you should not be telling me this. You might get fired. That's what I wanted to hear. Just report back to Wani when 50 of the strange sign monsters are gone. I see, they're monsters. I thought you were talking about the Black Wings. Why are you so terrible, Navigation? <sighs> Maybe I should turn it off. It keeps telling me to go the wrong way. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, I'll stop complaining. I'm here to do important work. Ow. <sighs> Yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 Yo. Yeah. 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 So, how's everyone been doing lately? We're quite deep into this whole lockdown thing. Wherever you are in the world, you've all been affected. So I think it's good to, you know, just take some time and really notice how we're feeling in the moment. I know I've been feeling few days I would say. Recently I finished my studies and it's been coming with a lot of uncertainty. That's one of the hardest things to deal with I think. Sometimes you know you just feel so alone and you start to question you know, are the things I think I want to do really what I want to do? And that includes streaming. But for now, I think this is okay. I hope to be able to have more of those kinds of talks with you in the future too as I stream. And I hope to create a community where people feel open to express how they feel. I think that's 
not very common amongst the video game community. But I think what's important is that I want to create that space, really, where people feel where people feel open about expressing themselves, and therefore they're able to be honest with themselves about what they want to learn, what they want to pursue, what they want from life. And then it makes it so much easier to move forward, be happy with where you are, and support each other, most importantly. Find people who you can actually feel connected with. You know, I played a really great game the other day called To the Moon. <laughs> I tend to have a taste for older games. But I got so emotional at the part where one of the characters, River, who has Asperger's syndrome, she was explaining to her future husband, Johnny. She was explaining that she has always thought that the stars in the sky are lighthouses. Many, 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 many billions of lighthouses. However, however, they are lighthouses. She knows, she's smart, okay? She reads, she knows that they aren't actually lighthouses, but sh she wants to believe that. And they sh shine their lights on each other, just like humans do. Just like humans share their light, shine their light on each other. But for her, it's hard for her to feel connected to others. All she can do is shine her light from afar and hope that others will see her in that way, even though it's just from afar. But one day she still hopes she'll be able to befriend one of those other lighthouses shining from afar. And that's kind of what I want to be able to provide with this.